general physics, UT Quest conservation of momentum problem set. Uh, this is a problem dart shot into block of wood. Uh, this is a uh, this is a pretty good problem. We have to go back to our um, kinematics and projectile motion in order to solve this problem. And I'll tell you how I know that. Let's take a look at what we're given. All right, this is what we're starting off with. An experimental dart of known mass is fired into a block of wood also of known mass. The block of wood is initially at rest after the collision. All right, how do we uh, analyze collisions in our class? With conservation of momentum. So this is going to be scenario uh, three of our three different types of collision problems where one object hits another object and they stick together. So I'm going to use those techniques that we studied to study scenario three in our conservation momentum in collisions. Uh, word of caution, I've highlighted here that your masses are given in grams. So uh, make sure you convert that to kilograms or things will not work out happy. All right, what else are we given the problem? All right, so I'm rest on a tall post, and then the dart lands a known distance from the base of the post. All right, well, after it hits and it falls off the post, we're going to have a half a parabola projectile motion problem. So we're actually going to have to solve that one first. All right, let's kind of uh, do a pictorial of what we have as far as our data. Here's where we're starting off. Now... The piece of wood is at rest. So that means that all of the initial momentum is wrapped up in the experimental dart. All right? We know its mass, but we do not know its velocity. That's what we're trying to solve for. Okay, so what happens next? Well, this dart then hits the block of wood, and they both fly away at some initial velocity and fall off the post and land some distance away from the post. Okay, now we have a uh, half parabola projectile motion problem. Our distance in the x is given. Our distance in the y is given. So you, let's use this information and find the initial velocity of the object. And the initial velocity of the object is the velocity of the block and wood immediately after the dart was stuck into it. All right, so we remember from our half parabola equations, this equation here is our powerful uh, one for finding time. Once I have time, I use this information, uh, my distance in the x, and I can get that velocity, that initial horizontal velocity that the wood and the dart flew off the post at. Okay, now I'm ready to go back to a conservation of momentum problem. Right, so we know initially all the momentum was in the dart, its mass times its velocity. And that's going to equal the final momentum, which is the dart and the wood stuck together. All right, so when we do this, we know all of these pieces of information except for the V initial of the dart. So now we can just plug in our known variables, solve for V initial of the dart.